Welcome back. So today I'm going to do a new soap um, and with recipe, all right? Um, and again, that's if it turns out, I don't see why it shouldn't, but you just never know. Um, I'm going to do a um, honey soap. Now, the reason I'm doing a honey soap, let me just uh, look here, is because I got these fragrance oils. And I'm looking, you see my mess back there? You organize things and then they get unorganized. <laughs> All right, let me find that fragrance oil. All right, I found it. It was uh, sitting behind my oils and stuff. All right, so one of the ones that I got was the oatmeal milk and honey fragrance. And it smells really nice. So I thought, okay, I'm going to try it out. But I thought, well, it's an oatmeal and honey, so why not make oatmeal and honey? So we are going to use some beeswax. I've never used beeswax in my soap. So I did some research and uh, from what I can gather, um, don't use more than 2% because it's going to harden fast. It's going to set up fast. Also, I'm putting honey in there and the sugars in the honey are going to speed up the um, the trace as well. So, yeah, no color. We're not adding any color. I want this to be just natural. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm going to show you on. I'm going to flip the camera around, and I'm going to show you. I did have the printout for the soap calc because I tell you guys all the time how important it is really to run your um, recipes through there, and um, so I'm just going to show it to you. All right, so let's see. So when you pull it up, you're going to see at the top, it's going to say recipe calculator. You click on that and this is your screen. So I keep um, my super fat at five. I'm doing cold process. Um, I just leave the uh, the fragrance. I, I do that afterwards. Um, I have to, you know, because you have to look up your fragrance. Um, with the company that you bought it from to see what percentage you can use of that fragrance oil. So then you're going to see here and it says oils, fats, and waxes. When you click on the little arrow, you will get um, a list of, of your waxes and oils and everything. And then you, you know, if you click on it and then you can add it into here and then you put your percentage. So you see, you know, just the 2%, right? So it has to add up to 100% and then you hit calculate recipe and then you hit view and it takes you to this page. And this is the your printout of, I do everything in um, grams. So now I know how many grams of everything that I need to do. Um, also down here, it shows you so the hardness, and you want to keep these numbers in these ranges, okay? Now these numbers over here, I try to keep them um, ar around 12, like below 12, 13. So, um, yeah, so you just look like, so the cleansing is going to be like how dry, and that's from the coconut oil. Um, let's see, conditioning, it's nice and high. And bubbly, what do we got? 21, not too bad. All right, creamy, we got 27, so not bad. All right, so I'm gonna start with the um, hard oils here. Let's see, so I've already, my uh, beeswax, I have it in a brick and I just grate it up and um, that way it kind of makes it uh, a bit easier for it to melt. So let's just get that in, in here. All right, so there's the beeswax. We've got, uh, yeah, I've already had it weighed out. So let's go like this. And now we got cocoa butter. And I've got two different kinds because I'm running low on my wafers. 
So, oh, let's see. Get that recipe back over here. All right, cocoa butter. All right. Oops. Got to change it because, again, I got to do it in grams. All right. And then I've got the new one, which is from uh, Crafter's Choice. Where was the other one from? It was from, I think, Windy Point. Yep. So this one just kind of comes in like flakes. It doesn't really matter how it comes. So this is less comes in like chunks. Some are big, some are small. hard we've got coconut oil all right coconut oil there we go there we go oh all right let me go grab my spoon all right and then once We've got this all in here. We are going to melt it down. All right. And then the palm oil. sticky there we go all right all right so let's get this on the stove and I'll be right back all right so for uh, my lye I'm going to be mixing some water and some buttermilk since it is oatmeal milk and honey so that zero dough Okay. All right. And distilled water. Let's see. I'm not sure if you can hear the, the water boiling for heating up the oils already. Sure you've got your safety goggles, long sleeve, you got your gloves, pants, and you see, because it goes everywhere sometimes. Yeah. 
Now you don't want to, usually I pour it into another container and then slowly add it in, but um, now if I had ice in here, I definitely would not pour it like that because it, um, it gets uh, hard. It, it hardens into like crystals. So you just do a little at a time. And it, it goes yellow again from the uh, the sugars and the milks and stuff. Let me turn that down a bit. All right. So we're going to um, I'm going to cover this, and as soon as those are melted, and then we're just I'm just going to leave it, and then I'll be back. All right. So I've put my um, castor oil and my hemp seed oil, and let's get the olive oil. chunks of um, of the cocoa butter because they were thick chunks so they're they're pretty hard uh, it's a hard butter so just waiting for that and then uh, we've got to let it cool all right so let's mix these oils the hot with the room temperature all melted down all righty And then I won't have to wait much longer to um, to mix the lye in there. Alright. Let's mix that. Alright, let's see. Alright. All right, so I'm just waiting on the uh, my lye solution, and we'll be right back. All right, so I am going to be putting in some uh, oatmeal. Let's see. It'll give a nice bit of texture. There's that. We're going to put in some honey. All right. Let's see. Let's scoop that off of there. Yeah. All right. Mix that in and mix. Let's mix that. Now I know what I'm going to use my little uh, mixer because I want to make sure that there's no chunks left from the, the oatmeal. I want to put in our fragrant oil. just mix that make sure oh that smells nice that is a really nice fragrance oh, I hope it stays once it goes through saponification and everything oh my goodness that is really nice all right all right so let's add Live solution. Put that over there. I don't know how well this uh, fragrance oil works. It's thickening up already. And it is turning a bit brown because of the sugars 
in the honey. Let's just buzz this really, oops, really fast. Stay brown. Which is too bad. I really like that color. All right. It's good. It's pretty thick here. So it is time to get that into the mold. You can see how thick that is. It's like pudding, like a caramel pudding is what it looks like. <laughs> All right, let's get this scraped. Oops, I always drip. Ah, I always make a mess here. Just trying to. All right, scrape, don't waste. Oh, it smells really nice. Hmm. Yeah, as long as that fragrance stays, I'll definitely use that again. I like that. It's nice. All right. Hmm. And it's too bad that it won't stay this color because I really like this color. But from what other videos that I've seen, it doesn't stay this color. So it will go lighter. So. We'll see. We'll see. And then I've seen where others have um, their soap volcanoed or cracked and because of the heat from the sugars. And so I am definitely going to keep an eye on it. Let's bang this down. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? All right, let's see. I'm going to cut this. And I want to put it on, I've seen others use the bubble wrap. I've seen it. So let's see if we can get the design. All right. Um, I don't want to do the whole thing because I do want to put um, some oatmeal on there put some oats on it so let's just see what we got here let's see we're just gonna kind of go like this doesn't have to be perfect we're just playing around Alright, let's cut this little piece here and stick it on there like that and we'll see how that turns out. And we're going to just kind of give some texture here. So I'm going to put the oats on here. Oops. All right, so let's just sprinkle a little bit of oats. There we go. All right. 
right, we'll be back in 18 to 24 hours to cut it. All right, so I just want to show you really quick. As you see, it's just, the soap is just sitting there. I didn't wrap it. I didn't put it in the oven because I knew it was going to get hot and I was afraid that it might volcano and it, it's hot. <laughs> it is really hot, but it is starting to crack, which is okay. As you can see here, you can see here it's cracked. Because I do have another video where I showed it you that um, it is easy to uh, to fix it. If I just put some saran wrap on there and kind of take a Q-tip and rub it, maybe wet it a little bit, right? It uh, it's easy to fix. Or if it's just such a small crack, then just leave it. Just leave it. So yeah, I don't think it's really going to crack too much more. I'm hoping not. Anyways, it's already been a a few hours, so. Hopefully that's just the worst that it'll do. We'll be back. All right, so Hi. it has been 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So I'm really glad that I showed you that it was overheating and starting to volcano and cracking. Well, I left it and look, it settled itself down and you don't even see the crack anymore. You can see where a little bit here, let's see, like a little bit right here. You see that little line? <laughs> But the crack is gone, which is really nice. Yeah. So I don't have to worry about fixing that. Yeah, Mama, it smells good, though. Yes, it does. All right, let's see here. Let's position you. I'm just trying to... All right, so let's... Also, I don't know if you can see the darkness in here. You can see where how it's darker in there. So I'm presuming that it, uh, it gelled. Want to pull that off some? Yeah. Okay. I, don't pop it. We need it. You know, kids, please. Oh, I know. Ooh. All right. Yeah. Okay. So that's cute. Okay. And we'll try cutting it the best that we can without mm -hmm. getting, um, like, the streak lines on it from the uh, oats. If I had a malty cutter then it would be a lot easier because then I can lay it on its side the soap and then just cut it I can't do it with this one. Oh yeah if you can see it did do a partial gel which is okay see. Oh. yeah see yeah can you see the the dark circle in there okay so oh that feels nice all right, let's just clean this up a little bit here. So smooth, Mom. It is. Oh, my hands smell so nice, Mom. It, this, I love the fragrance. It smells really nice. And then... And this is the, uh, mm -hmm. the oatmeal, milk, and honey. All right, so let's see. Let's see. Let me put this here and make sure I, on the camera that I can... See it? Yep. Okay, one second, because I just want to cut the mm. end off. Mm. This is my favorite part about doing soap. Yeah. Oh, the cutting, eh? Yeah. Alright. I just want to tell you guys, it's so fun. It is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. At least there's not just, like, a little circle in there. So, you can see, I don't know if you can see the tiny little lines from the oats. Alright. And because we just went with the natural color, yep, go ahead. Um, there's no designs. They'll all be exactly the same. Remember? Yeah. Hold it up just a little bit because of the camera. Oh, yeah, look. Can you see? So it does have that Ooh. circle in it. <laughs> Can you see the circle? But that's okay. Yeah. That is okay. It still looks nice. It is okay. Mm. All right. Some people are going to love this. They are. Yep, there you go. Go ahead, cut another one. So be careful. All right. No, we don't pull it back up. No. Because then it'll, yep. Oh. 
Okay, so, so pretty. well, that is going to be, let's see now, see, there's a little line. So that's going to be where, where the uh, crack was, if you can see here. So that's where the crack was, and then it just uh, sealed itself. So that's all right. All right, so here is the recipe. There's the recipe, let's see. So we've got beeswax is at 2%, castor oil at 5%, cocoa butter at 10%. We got coconut oil at 25%. I use hemp seed oil at 5%, olive oil 43%, and palm oil at um, 10%. So, I mean, you can use, you can... I use the light oil of the um, hemp seed oil. Um, you can use other oils. Um, but just remember to put it into the uh, the soap calc. I do 5% super fat. Um, this soap I did 35, I mean 34% um, of the waters. The water as oils, usually I do 35. I don't know, I just went 34 this time. Um, yeah, and then like I said for the uh, fragrance oil, um, always check what your fragrance oil to the company of the, that you're uh, using it from, and it'll tell you what percentage of uh, you can use for your soap. All right, I hope uh, you like this video. So make sure you are uh, subscribing. I see so many people watching and not subscribing. It would really, really help my channel out if you did subscribe and hit that like button. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Bye.